Sheriff's Office, Lockwood Park District, Metro Enforcement Agency, and any other agencies involved. We demand all elected officials in the City of Rockford and in Winnebago County to make a public statement about the violations of human rights of protesters by the Rockford, Park, Rockford Police Department, Winnebago County Sheriff's Office, Rockford Park District, and Metro Enforcement Agency in connection to the City Market Protest. We demand the City of Rockford and Winnebago County make accommodations and pay in full for the services of counselors, therapists, or psychiatrists, or anything else needed to help the mental health of those traumatized by the actions of their officers in connection to the City Market Protest. The City should make accommodations for up to 12 months to pay these services to each individual. We demand that the Winnebago County Sheriff's Office Return all personal property, including but not limited to cell phones, speakers, and 20 megaphones, to the people who were arrested at the city market protest. We demand the city of Rockford and Winnebago County ban the use of chemical agents by the Rockford Police Department, Winnebago County Sheriff's Office, and Metro Enforcement Agency at the areas the city and county designate as protest zones. We demand that Sergeant Tom Brimall son, Adam Pickett, be charged for assault and unlawful restraint for the actions he took on a protester July 31st at the City Market protest. We demand that Kathy McDermott be terminated from her position at Rockford City Market and, place, and be replaced with someone who puts the community's interest above economic gain. We demand that Peter Provenzano and Rock River Development Partnership give ownership, all rights and control of Rockford City Market to the City of Rockford so that it can be handled in a more equitable and democratic manner. We demand that all officers that participated in the violation of human rights of the protesters in connection to the city market protest be terminated immediately and their crimes against humanity be punished to the fullest extent of the law. Okay, before I give an update on the ongoing campaign, I will read the three demands from the family of Tyrus Jones. Demand number one, inspire Officer Dominic McNeese, who shot Tyrus Jones. Demand number two is a third party investigation into the shooting of Tyrus Jones by Officer Dominic McNeese. And demand number three is that a special prosecutor be in charge of the case against Dominic McNeese for shooting Tyrus Jones. Again, I want to reiterate the reasoning for our, the reasoning for the protest demonstrations that have been going on outside of the courthouse. Dominic McNeese shot an unarmed man four times on, on South Main and Harrison. Since the shooting, since this shooting took place, the mayor has not had a press conference or answered any questions regarding the shooting from reporters. Since the shooting has taken place, there has been no transparency by the Rockford Police Department or the Winnebago Boone Integrity Task Force into the investigation of the shooting. So, until the Winnebago Boone Integrity Task Force releases its findings, and until the mayor has a press conference in which he speaks on the shooting of Tyrus Jones and on the, on the, and on the ongoing police brutality that takes place in this city, we will continue to occupy outside of City Hall and we will continue to do the courthouse, the, do the courthouse demonstrations Mondays through Fridays starting at 9 a.m. We encourage anybody who is, uh, has free time on their hands, whether it be for 30 minutes or an hour or 10 minutes, to come out outside of the courthouse and participate in the uh, protest, bringing awareness to the shooting of Tyrus Jones. Today, as was, as was spoken before by Ari, we, did, we used the exact same tactics, used the exact same methods. It was megaphones, it was sirens, it was people walking on a crosswalk, it was signs, and nobody was arrested and there were no citations given out which should be a reminder to the community that what happened on Friday was unjust and any citations or any arrests that have been made prior to this day or that will be made after this day are also unjust. Since the courthouse will be closed tomorrow due for elections, we will not be outside of the courthouse. But I encourage people to come to the protest that's being held tomorrow at South Mill and start to drive. Uh, we did not organize that protest, but it will be demonstrators that's part of the May 30th Alliance and demonstrators who've been part of Occupy Rockford and demonstrators who've taken place in the Winnebago County Courthouse protest who will be there to be involved in that demonstration as well. So we encourage people to come out. Again, we did not organize this at event. Uh, on Wednesday, we will
will be back outside the courthouse at 9 a.m. We'll be back outside the courthouse with megaphones, with signs, and with sirens, and we encourage anybody from the community to come out on Wednesday. If you go out and vote on Tuesday, come out on Wednesday and take part in the demonstrations. Also, beginning on Wednesday, we will start having, pro we will start having demonstrations in the evenings to go along with the demonstrations that we're having at the courthouse in the morning. We will put an event up that will have the location and the time of the demonstration that will take place Wednesday evening. So if you uh, if you don't like the May 30th Alliance page on Facebook, find, go look up the May 30th Alliance page on Facebook and like and follow that page. You can also like and follow the May 30th Alliance on Twitter and on Instagram to keep up with all the events going on around the demonstrations. Again, we want to encourage people from the community to make any contribution possible, whether that contribution be time, whether that contribution be their presence, or whether that contribution be financial. It's a GoFundMe that's, that's circulating on Facebook for the family of Tyrus Jones. Uh, share that and donate to that. There's cash apps that's circulating on Facebook that are, that are surrounding the Occupy Rockford movement and surrounding the demonstrations going on. Share those links and donate to those things. We have uh, Justice for May 30th merchandise that we're selling for fundraising purposes. And we also will have City Market 22 merchandise that we're selling for fundraising purposes. So if you if you don't feel comfortable just donating without getting something in return, we do have we do have those things that'll be here. So again, just to do a recap, we will continue to do protests and demonstrations on a daily basis. Starting on Wednesday, we'll start doing two demonstrations a day, one in the morning and one in the evening. We'll continue to hold press conferences on a daily basis to keep people updated. And we, we encourage everybody that's going to go out to vote on Tuesday to come out at 7, 7 p.m. to South Mill and start to drive to take part in that demonstration. And we encourage anybody who's going to go vote on Tuesday to not let the election be where they stop with their uh, politics and to come out to the demonstration that's being held to bring awareness to the shooting of Tyrus Jones, to bring awareness to the Mikey Guzman being hit by the South, Bo South Beloit Police Department to bring awareness to Jovan being shot down by the Metro Enforcement Agency, and to bring awareness to the people who went out on May 30th and had their human rights violated by the Rockford Police Department, and to the people who went out at City Market for two months straight and had their human rights violated by the Rockford Police Department and the Winnebago County Sheriff's Department. Thank you.